Hello everybody, welcome back and thank you for joining me for another video. All right, uh, doing a quick voiceover really quickly. I'm using crystal resin as you can see there. Uh, I am working on another piece from Pour Away Fluid Arts. I am showing you guys my 14 by 14 inch wood panel that I get from Bijan's Art Studio. Um, now I'm making sure it's level. Of course it must be level. Okay. So the design you see there to the, or the one I'm picking up right now, again, that's from pour away fluid arts. I have spray painted it silver, as you can see when I turned it over or even to the piece on the right there, they do only come in that bronzy kind of color. So if you want to change up the color, you could totally do that. Um, just spray paint it black, white. I chose silver. Um, so I'm just kind of playing around with it here and making sure that I know exactly where it's going to go. Um, as you can see, I've already mixed up my resin and put my black color in it to tint the resin black. So that is ready to go. I'm going to put it on the panel board, get it all spread out and um, get it ready to put the stencil on.
All right, so the black resin has been put down, warmed up, bubbles have been popped, and now it's time to put the stencil on. Now, this gets a little tricky because you gotta put it on exactly where you want it to go. Yes, you can move it a little bit here and there, but try your best to get it in the exact spot you want it to. Um, I got lucky here and I seem to have managed to put it where I wanted it to go. And I just use it, use it. Yeah, Canela can't speak today. I just used some tweezers to kind of manipulate some of the rings to where I wanted them to be, you know, make sure they were even. Um, so yeah, you can use a pair of tweezers to kind of move it around if need be. But uh, whatever you do, don't take it off. If you screwed up, don't peel it off. It's just gonna end up being an utter mess. Don't do it. Um, and yeah, that's it. All right, back for step two. So um, I have changed up some of the colors from my original piece. Now, um, I'm recording this in multiple steps, multiple process. So I don't know what I said earlier. I don't know what I'm gonna say later. So this piece is actually a second part to uh, for a client of mine who purchased the paint splatter piece. I'll put a picture of it right here for you guys to see. Um, but we did agree on changing some of the colors. So the colors, I'm still using the TLP pigment. I did swap out a few colors though. Um, so we have uh, maraschino, all right. Then we have mango, followed by submarine. I did change the green. So now I'm using lily pad, so it's a lighter green. And I did change the blue as well. So I'm trying, I'm gonna try unicorn. All right, and then um, I did change the purple. Uh, I'm now using constellation. And then I'm using uh, crescendo, which is the one I used before. Uh, then we have fairy floss for pink and then sangria. Now these are just rainbow colors. It's not exactly following the colors of the rainbow because we all know there's no pink in the rainbow. Um, but my client wants it colorful, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, of course, I'm going to use my um, crystal resin, okay? Don't forget, you can save 7% off using code CANELA7 on the website. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to put my powders in my cups. I'm not going to mix all colors together. I'm telling you, if you saw the video where I did the paint splatter one, um, you know, I made the mistake of mixing all the colors. And by the time I got to the pink at the end, it had been like over half an hour. The resin was getting hard. It was hard to work with. So I'm only going to do maybe like five at a time and then I'll make more resin to do the rest. Okay. And don't, don't ignore what's going on over here. That's going to be a different, different video, but I'm recording part two of this one today too, because I'm just killing two birds with one stone, but this is upcoming. All right. So I'm going to speed everything up, probably do some more voiceover, um, but I'm going to get the resin ready and then I'm going to put my colors in. So it's basically going to be a sped up version and uh, I'll get back to you when this is done. Right, everybody it's been no joke almost two hours maybe about a minute for you guys on the time lapse portion but um it's been a long two hours or so my back is killing me so i did the first five colors 
and even that was too much. Um, make I make a suggestion, do three at a time. I think more than that and you're gonna be in trouble um, because by the time I got to the blue, I was struggling, okay? Um, it was thick as molasses. It was really hard to get the blue in there. I was making mistakes. Um, so I would just do three at a time, three at a time. And then I filled um, half a Dixie cup, not even half, um, less than half you'll need if you're doing three at a time. So just keep that in mind. So this part's done. So I'm going to let it cure. I think it looks fantastic. Um, and then I'm going to do a complete clear coat on top um, because I feel like this needs a little bit of another layer on top and then to fill out any holes or like, you know, just give it a clear coat. So um, I'm gonna let this cure and then I'm gonna do a clear coat. I'll be back. All right guys, ready for the final step. Um, so I've gone ahead and mixed some of my crystal resin here. And again, I'm sure I've mentioned it already in this video, but because this video is being done in multiple steps over like a week's time, I don't remember what I've said to you guys. So if you want to buy crystal resin, you can purchase that on the website, crystalresin.com. Again, all that info is in the description below with the link and you can save 7% off using code canela 7 um, Also, the stencil, I don't think I even mentioned the stencil. That's from Pour Away Fluid Arts. Again, that is also in the description below. So you can get to the description and click on the link and order all kinds of different stencils and you can save 10% off using code CANELA in capital letters, okay? So that is pour away fluid art. Okay, my resin is mixed. Let's get this final top coat on. So I'm just going to go around like so. Might as well use her up because there's definitely crevices there. I'm gonna save just a smidge for later. Let me heat this up with my heat gun. Perfect. Now I'm going to just use my fingers to spread this around my entire board. This is going to be so nice once this last top coat is on here. And like I said, if you remember watching my first video of these nice stencils that I did, that was the um, paint I think it was like paint drips or whatever. So the my client who bought that also commissioned this. So she will have both pieces, which is kind of cool. So I'm just going to spread it, make sure this is all nicely covered, enough resin everywhere. And that's it. That's how simple that is. And then tomorrow I will take the tape off the back and it shall be done and finished. All right, so that's nicely spread. I'm just clean my hands before I grab my heat gun again. I'm gonna warm it up and pop all the bubbles. And that's it, she's done. So I'm just going to, you know, bring my eye level down here and make sure with the reflection of my lights that there are no fibers or hairs or anything like that in here. 
And if there is, I shall remove it with my tweezers. Okay, looking good, looking good. And when I'm satisfied with it and I don't see anything, I'm going to slowly walk away and get out of my studio and not come back till tomorrow morning. All right, it's nighttime now. You guys know I only like to do resin in the evenings. That is the best time to do resin. Okay, that's it. So that is it. I will be back tomorrow and show you guys how I take the tape off of the back of the cam of the not the canvas, the wood panel. Okay. All right, everybody, it's finished. Look at that shine and not a single floof in here. I love it. It's so awesome. It's so amazing. All right, so now we must take the tape off the back. All right, don't need these anymore, which is great. Okay, so what you wanna do is grab your heat gun. All righty, you can find that heat gun on my Amazon shop. Link in the description below. So what you wanna do is you just wanna heat the edges, okay? And then it'll peel off like butter, all right? I know you've seen these me do this in a few other episodes, so, or videos. Let's heat it up. up and then this comes off like this look at this you see that so clean I love it if you're pulling it and you find it's a little hard to pull heat it up some more okay don't pull if it's hard to pull all right see so much easier I'm trying to hold this without touching the top see how much easier it is so if you find a little resistance while pulling stop and reheat it okay I can't even hold this and show you guys at the same time it's so hard okay I'm gonna do the rest of this and speed it up so I'll be right back And there you have it. It is done. Look how clean the back is. I love, and you know, I just use dollar store tape. A lot of people think I buy, go out and buy like expensive duck brand or frog tape or any of that nonsense. Nope, dollar, dollar store, Dollarama here in Canada. I just buy the green tape from the dollar store. Look at it, it's perfect. I'm so stoked. Like, I mean, these things are a pain in the butt to make, but boy, oh boy, when is it, when it's done, it is just stunning. Do you know stunning? All right, let me actually I'm put these back. I don't know why I took them away. I'm going to show you guys a close up the other way. So let's do that. All right, here it is. Look at that. It's like flawless. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Super, super happy. So there you have it. Again, um, crystal resin, you can save 7% off using code Canela7. If you want to buy the stencil, okay, you can do that from Pour Away Fluid Arts. Again, save 10% using code Canela, capital, my whole name, just capital, that's it, 10% off. Okay, but all that stuff is listed in the description below as well, okay? Um, and again, if you want more, more details, you know, on this, how to do this. Again, you can check out my previous video. I'll link it up here at the top. Um, that has a more full detail tutorial. You can watch that one and get more information from that video as well. Um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Do you like it? If anyone is interested in a commission like this as well, or with other stencils from Pour Away Fluid Art, or try it yourself. It's a lot of fun, time consuming, but fun. But um, thank you again, guys, so much for watching. Uh, that's it. That's all. I think. Yeah, that's it. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my friends, have a good day. Have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.